uh, Liz, Liz forgot to tell me about this, which is a fairly new monument. It's uh, it, it's it recognises both sides here. The Battle of Wagon Hill, First Battalion, Demonstrator, Harry Smith, Commando. So what Liz said, see how that makes a cross? That's a cross. So at dawn, on the 6th of January, every year, the sun comes through that cross and illuminates this. Recognising the Devs, the Devonshires, and the Harry Smith Commando. You got Lady Smith, you got Harry Smith. It's a different little town. So, yeah, that's really well done. What's this part of the hill called? Okay, this is, um, this part is called. Uh, Caesar's Camp. Caesar's Camp. Point Caesar's Camp. And below is called, below the hill, Maiden Castle, which is named after an area around Aldershot area in England. Yeah. Um, but the main feature, well, recently on the hill then, is the Burger Memorial, which is the only one I think in KZN which commemorates the, um, all the, the Boer dead losses, yeah. They had a little... We're going to go and look at the three, one, two, three there, but that's what that is. Uh, gun emplacement. Yeah. They used to have a nice little uh, centre here. Yeah. It's a bit of, yeah, city rating. I think this was open during the centenary. Brilliant. You, uh, Info on the battle, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, this one needs to be fixed. Yeah, needs to uh, talk to the trust about it, yeah. Otherwise, it'll, it'll end up in my bedroom at Wall. <laughs> at home. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll look at that on the way back, will we? This is from Dixon's book of cartoons. <laughs> yeah, he was in the siege of Ladysmith. So he did a whole book of cartoons. Dixon. There's the town of Lady Smith. Yeah. Uh, where are we? We're here. Oh, we're here. yeah, we're here. We're here. Actually, um, on the way here, Liz, I saw a sign for Pepworth Hill. Oh, that's the other direction. Oh. Yeah. In, in, I'll point it out from Anything there. out there? Um, no, but there is a surprise hill, but it's very remote. There is a surprise hill. There's a machine gun. Um, a little mm. monument there to the. Here's some boars. Here's some boars. As you can see, a, a, a lively looking set of lads. Christmas 1899. They probably had a few drinks, but they were. Um, they were fiercely religious. They wouldn't have had too much to drink, we assume. <laughs> is this, yeah, when was this memorial built, do you think, Liz? Um, 19, I think it was 1979, on the anniversary of Christmas. Right. Yes, I think it was, yeah. Ah, um, the Burger Monument. Oh goodness, this is, this is interesting. Yeah. This was the Jewish participation on the Boer mm. side. Oh, yeah. And uh, there were not, there was one very, but there were a few around here. So we had something here for the unveiling. And all the rabbis came down from Johannesburg. 
Um, so there was just one at Colenso, Surprise Hill. You men, oh, I mentioned that just now. So there was they were supporting the the Boers. So that was unveiled. In, yeah, you wouldn't think. I think it was 2012. Yes. Oh. Well, they've been in, involved in everything, the uh, Jewish people, so it's not shouldn't come as too much of a surprise they had a finger in the ball wall. That'll be a small one, small part. And then, and, yeah, the, um, when, when we get around and have a look at the pillars, you'll see they represent... Okay. So you've got the Burka Memorial with the so-called hands which stand for all these qualities. Yeah, right, I yeah, see. And then a wall of remembrance here. 1970s. Or headstones that have been... Oh, don't know about this. Okay. I did a bit. Oh, we'll go and have a look at it before I pass judgment. Headstones. headstones. There was a holding camp here uh, on their way down to Lamadons or um, where some of the Boers lost their lives here or they died um, during yeah. their stay there. I wonder where these headstones, where have they come from? Um, from the Dundee. graves of these Chaps that were have been reinterred here. Yeah. Sure. Well, the top front. And then, um, then these were from the farms where they yeah. just made their own little. They're know, real old. Yeah. Vessels. Yeah. The the plot front is it down there where we drove up? Um, do you mean the lodge itself? Well, well, it, well, it says the plot front. Yeah. No, they refer to it as plot front. On the on Boer side, we yeah, the whole hill is Plutron. Ah, uh, we call it Wagon Hill. Yeah, and we call it Wagon Hill, and the lodge is called Plutron, so they will right. call call it Plutron. That's real well old. Twentieth year. I don't know, I can't read that. And some of these, even on the slate, is fading now. That's real old. Scratch Peter Frederick Straum. Straum. Yeah, it looks like 1900. Cornelius Petrus Meyer, Phileas. Okay, there's a lot of them. Yeah, it's. Uh... Herm Hermanus Nicolas Blatrand. Ah, uh, so I see there's that date. Yeah. 6th of January 1900. Right. Vessels. That's a little later. Maybe he was wounded here. February. Of a leader and taught wieder scenes. Oh, look at this one. I'm also sad. I lost two sons up here. Yeah. Ludwig Johannes Karl Peter. De Yaga. So that's fairly late, that's February 1902. Yeah. That's a year after this, yeah. Yeah. or two years after this yeah. encounter. Yeah. Frey 8. Oh, look at that, Jacobus. January 1900. Kuis. Well, there's lots of them. And there's one with one Jewish. Jacobitz, which is one ah, of the yes, Jewish yes. Men. Petrus. And now you were up there at, um, wait a minute, oh no, this family, wait a minute, fought with the British at 
Schlaban, do you understand, against Zulus or something, and now oh. they're fighting each other. That's very sad. That's maybe the Battle of Dun uh, Talana Hill or something? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Nicholas Bussel. Also from Dundee. Yeah, that's that date again. 20th of October, yeah. that's the assault on Talana Hill. We saw her. Uh, yeah. yeah, remember, and we went to Penn Simmons' grave. Oh, you did you, yeah. Couldn't get in, but did we could you see. Go up the hill a bit? No, no I'm, I'm not fit enough, right. unfortunately. Ignatius. There's that date again. He might have died the day after the battle of his wounds. Burger, Boxburg Commando. That's where I stay. Boxburg. That's where I stay in Joburg. It's all damaged. They've tried to repair it as best as they can. At least they made an effort. Okay. This is the big memorial. Which seems a bit over the top, but. Hands are facing in the direction of of the battlefields that they fought at. Right. Um, okay. And uh, here's here's Elan's Lachter. Talana, the twentieth. Itala, I don't know that one. Don't know that. That's a lot of men there. Yeah. Yeah. And look at all those from Van Royans. Yeah. 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 This was about my age. He's obviously not. He has to be. Now you're looking at a boat position there, Umburwana. You see there? That flat ridge. That long flat ridge. The Boers had a long tom gun there throughout the siege of Ladysmith. It stayed on this end. So that's the one that dropped so many shells into Ladysmith. There. Then over there, you've got. Uh, a hill, Lombard's Cop. That conical one. Yeah, and Gun Hill. Ah. Which um, the Boers occupied during the Siege of Ladysmith. And on December the 8th, 1899, the British went out from Ladysmith to um, damage that gun up there. And uh, they went up the hill. And they shouted, give them the cold steel, <laughs> like they didn't have the bayonet, and the Boers actually fled. Uh -huh. um, you can't blame them. And the British came back with the, um, the breech block and one of those rods. They're in the museum, you'll see them. They came back and they put that gun out of action. But the Boers came back later, and they removed that gun, and they commanded the railway line north. Okay, they had that. And they took that back and um, they used it again or managed to another breech block and used it against the the British in is that Kimberley the, or somewhere. Is that the centre over there? Uh, that... The centre is here. There. You'll be able to pick out you should be able to pick out the town hall, you can see Something with a green roof and go further. Oh, up. yeah, over yeah. there. Yeah, that's yeah. the centre of town. That's Murchison Street. Ah, right. So, a hundred odd years ago, um, it was only four streets deep, the town. You understand? One, uh, four like streets. Like a block. A block. That's all it was there. And yeah. everything else was arts. Nothing. There was nothing. Was there a Ladysmith club or something? They used to drink gin and tonic? Or? <laughs> there was the Royal Hotel, which is still there. Right. Where they, the Royal Hotel was uh, okay. in existence then. You can see why this would have been uh, a great spot to, to lob shells 
it, we're so close. In a hollow, you know, yeah. it's surrounded by hills. Making hills a bit diff bit bit further away to yeah. to lob them. And then um, just around the corner at the edge of this hill, which is yeah. still part of uh, Wagon Hill. That's yeah. Around the corner is a place called Umtombi Camp, which Pat mentioned, but it's very inaccessible. You may want to try, but I can go out there. The road is bad. Umtombi Camp was um, where the um, the sick were taken and non-competents were taken to stay out in the neutral camp at Umtombi Camp. There's a lot of diaries written, well, one or two, one by Kate Driver, the nurse out there, of what it was like at Umtombi Camp. Well, where those, where those towers are, the red and white towers, is that what you mean? The red and white towers the edge of this hill. Oh. We'll, we'll drive down there. Yeah. Okay. So you've got your perspective now there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The green roof there, guys. Yeah. That's about the town hall. So Price Hill is back there. On that side of what did you, oh, you mentioned Pepworth. Yeah. Pepworth Hill, if you take the road out of Ladysmith towards Dundee, Newcastle, Pepworth Hill is out that way. Yeah. Okay. I saw a turn off to yeah, Pepworth. That's right, but also not very, not accessible. Mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> you seem to be able to get to out of the way places. Yeah. Oh, the bodies. Um, the bodies are, some are buried elsewhere and some are, the remains are in here. Yeah, crypt, and guys, crypt. See, we had a plot here which was stolen. Oh. We're trying to get one put up here because people don't know that it's a crypt. Oh. You see, and the children jump all over it. On one a winner hill. Yeah, sure. I'm sure that's the relief of ladies. Yeah. Peter Suhta. Escort Calenso Elders. It's all poor names. Any idea what those stars mean? Um, yeah, there's some that are. Um, buried here and some that are uh, reinterred here rather and the others are sure. somewhere else here. Yeah. Oh another holy spot for of Africana Dum. I can hear Falkrans. It's the only monument of its kind, you know, like in KZN. Spin Cup. Yeah. yeah, it's big. So now um, you want to walk along to Manchester Fort or? Yes, please. Oh, what's the Hussars? Right, okay. Manchester Fort. And Koreans. I don't know if I was okay. <coughs> These turnstiles they employed. Ah, oh, okay, the Hussars monument we're going to. I read the arrow wrong. I was asking Liz about when she came down through Africa, when she left Britain or England, the UK. I don't know why, you know, my next question would have been if it had been early 60s. It would have been beetle related. Well, very rocky. Rain. We're at the uh, 
monument now. <laughs> Before we were with the devs, we we're way over there, the other side of this hill. Look at the placements here already, I'm seeing constructions of defensive works. From January, what you there, then there's rock engravings. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. That's the Naval Volunteers. Yes, yeah. Then there's some more here. And there's some here, you see, HMS. G.P. Franklin, oh, no. Natal Native, Natal Naval Volunteer, 1899. They're beautifully preserved. And some more here. That. Sutherland, Stain, Gordon, Clegg. This post and the outlining works. You can see plenty of defensive rock emplacements held by the 18th Hussars from January 1900 to the end of the siege. And that beautiful rock there, beautifully engraved, isn't it? Manchester's Fort, built by F and H Company, First Battalion, Manchester Regiment, garrison during the Siege of Ladysmith, as follows. Company Captain Menzies, Second Lieutenant Beddoes, 80 NCO and, and men, very impressive. Look at this. Truman, Bauer, Jan, 1900. This is a little Italian. Quite artistic, weren't they? Yes, and well, they spent a lot of time up here. And they, <laughs> they got bored. Yeah. Here, do we know what these rooms were? Or just defensive groundworks? Manchester Fort. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just had to change batteries, but um, we can see some rock emplacement. But this is the Manchester Fort, and Liz has pointed out we're standing in the officers' mess. Look at that. And you said it had some uh, corrugated iron roofing on it. Said in the centre, there was a small um, roofing back, a small. Hut or corrugated iron where they kept, you know, yeah. uh, uh, supplies and things like that in the centre originally. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot of rocks to move here. Yeah, hard work. Yeah. Maybe they had some Africans up here helping them. Um, oh, never mind that, but more importantly, this what about water? How'd they get water up here? What was the problem? That was a problem. They had to bring water up here. That was a problem. By donkey cart? Yeah. And, and, and when you read about the battle, battle of one wagon, there was 107 Fahrenheit. That is, it was a period of the cart. Yeah. 107 Fahrenheit. That's about 40, 41 degrees, 42. And you're up here sitting around. It wasn't all beer and skittles. So they'd be sitting around waiting for the Boers to do something most of the time and uh, 40 to 2 degree heat look at all this Manchester Fort wow. the Mancurians
of in the center of the fort. Any other rock engravings? Not here, no. Uh, Not here. You can see where there might have been rooms. This looks like it might have been a separate room, a store or something. It's very well enclosed here. See that? That's where your sentries would have been. Very impressive, very impressive Manchester's fort. You can see a white barrel over here. There's a nice straight line here. Because the boys are coming that way. some reason I get a better view of the layout of the fort trench there trench there so you yesterday you were in Dundee was out that way yeah did the did the fort come under attack at all? Um, no, it was yeah far back. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, because they had those. Uh, we haven't looked the four guns over there, which kept the boers back. Yeah. Why didn't the boers just shell this hill? Why didn't they bombard it? Um, I th yeah, I think there was from Umbawana, from the Long Tom. The Long Tom could definitely reach this far, so that was that was able to um, drop shells from there. Long Tom. From there, yeah. so they were able to from that angle in this area. Again, you can see spear and copper again. Spin cop. I hate boarding school, which is also very difficult. For I bet. Mm -hmm. this, this is a gun emplacement. Gun emplacement, British ones. Because this is the widest part yeah. of the hill here, which kept the boys back. And then also. There is a little rock engraving there, you see? Oh, look at that. It was done at that time. The Boer War. Oh, yeah. 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 Boer War. And I'm glad they've cleared this out because the last time I was here, it was all over growing the yeah. What sort of gun would they have here? Um, the 40 um, the field artillery there. It's up there. The, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. We can just double check for you. All right, there's this one, two, three, four. Four of them. You can get find out.
there's a little grave. In fact, let's point at this out because I've forgotten they were here. There's another gun emplacement, sort of pointing. That's sort of got a hole where it sinks at the bottom. She's got me looking for rock art. There it is. A little grave there, is there? Sorry? There's a little grave. Oh no, it's a little uh, marker. It's not a grave. Um... Second battle of the Royal Field Artillery that is marking the site of these gun emplacements and all I know is that the naval guns had a, a longer range, great 